All right guys, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Today, in this video, we are gonna be cleaning up this mess of wiring that we have in here from the Yak power system and the Torquedo and all the batteries. Uh, we have the fish finder on it. We obviously have the Torquedo plugged through the hole now, right here. And we have the uh, throttle coming through the Hobie through hole. We got the battery up here. I went away from the Yak power system just because it was it was too bulky and it concentrated the batteries in one spot and I'm going to separate them out and we're going to start out with two of the three that I have and we're going to put one right here and then in the back back here we're going to have another one right here and we're going to run them together into the Yak power system but we got to clean all this mess up as you guys can see it's pretty pretty uh pretty messy in there so and to clean it all up on the inside of the hole we're going to use this stuff right here so that we can wrap all our wires up in this uh braided sleeve and uh install some lights here we're going to get red and green one of each for the front uh bow and then I'll have one red and one green extra. And then I have another of red that I'm probably going to put somewhere in this vicinity. I haven't decided where yet. Just to light up the cockpit at night. Uh, that would be my midship lights. And uh, I might put one actually even in here to light this up. Uh, just in case it's morning or night and I can't see inside the bucket. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you the new and improved wiring system I put in here. It is the Yak Power still. I've just cleaned it up a lot. Um, I know it looks a little messy over here. Still needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But as you can see, I put it in these sleeves. So this is your lights, the uh, front bow lights. I'll show you guys a picture of those in the dark here in a minute. We've got the Torquedo right here, and that's the remote wire for the Torquedo. This is the actual motor wire. Got two Dakota lithium batteries, one in the front and one in the uh, rear compartment. And everything run to the back here is running the sleeve stuff to keep it from getting tangled up. The Yak Power switch box is actually Velcroed right here underneath. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably a little dark. Might be able to see it. Uh, but yeah, it's tucked up and out of the way. And then I have, and then I just have this Y splitter run to two separate leads for two separate batteries. Um, it does go from red to black and then from black to red. Uh, that's the only issue with that, but um, it makes no difference. It's just, uh, you gotta, gotta pay attention to what you're wiring because plugging in, as you can see, the black wire is going into the red lead and the red is going into the black. But when they come out, it's the same thing. Red's going into black and black's going into red. So it's going back to its original uh, original line. So it doesn't make a difference. It works. And that way I can run two without running the Yak Power battery box. And I can distribute the weight of the batteries throughout. And I may even put a third one right here, uh, basically underneath the seat by the scuppers right there. Um, and that would just be to run cameras off of. But for right now, this is what it is, and I'm going to show you guys what this thing looks like with the uh, Yak Attack Dizzy Pole light, the bow lights right here, and then I installed some midship lights, red ones right there. So let's get the lights turned off and show you guys the finished product. All right, as you guys can see, these front lights right here on the bow, you got the red and green. Had to install those because I installed the Torquedo. Got the boat registered with the stickers right here. But I had to have those installed to be under power uh, before and after, you know, light hours. And then we have 
the Visi pole in the back, the Yak Attack light, and then right here in the cockpit, we've got two of the red lights that lights up the cockpit pretty nice. I like the red on red, the uh, red lights on the red kayak. Uh, lights it up so you can see pretty much everything. So you guys can see. It gives you just enough light. I may add one in here in this compartment later on. But for right now, it lights up everything that I need it to and I'm safe on the water. And everything's clean installed with those sleeves. Batteries distributed. Uh, the weight, weight difference is huge from not having three batteries in the front to just having the two, one in the front, one in the back. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And hopefully it helped you out with installing your Yak Power system or maybe convince you to.